Hello everyone, welcome to Python programming tutorial. In this class, I am going to talk about indentation and comments in Python. Now, if you have been, if you have come from a Java background, you background, you would have seen that um, in Java to define the block of codes, you have opening and curl, uh, opening and closing curly braces. However, in Python, there is no opening and cur uh, closing curly braces. So Python does not have any explicit begin or end. So no curly braces to mark what is the block of code in Python. Uh, Python uses colon and indentation to mark the block of code. So if you see this particular example here at uh, indentation comments, you will see that I have if block and else block and how Python recognizes that this is one particular block is basically the indentation. So if you see the print statement below if is indented, right? Uh, if you change the indentation of the print statement, you will see the error appearing in the PyCharm. Now, what it expects is that after if it should be, the statement should be indented, pro indented properly so that it can recognize that this piece of code or this line of code belongs to this particular block. Okay, so below if block, there are two print statements. Below else block, there are three print statements and then there is a print statement at last. So now if we try to analyze this program a little bit, um, the first statement here is basically it will ask the input uh, and ask the user to input enter the day today on the console and will store in the variable day. Now if that day is Monday is equal to Monday, then it will print two statements here from the if block get ready for fun and then it will print the length of the day that you enter which is six number six and then it will come out of the else block uh, it won't even go there and then it will print the last statement uh, not in the else block because this print statement is indented is not indented uh, up to the else block so that is why this is not part of the else block and that's how python recognizes which block uh, of code to execute right so let's try and execute this program here so i'll enter monday and now you'll see that i've got three statements printed get ready for fun six number six and not in the else block now if you execute this again and enter any other day apart from monday uh, the output will be uh, all these else statements as well as the last statement so let's try and execute and i'll print sunday and i will see that uh, you got because it's other day so it came to the else block and it printed get back to work length of the day and then printed in the else block and then finally it came out and printed the not in the else block because this last print statement is not indented to any of these uh, I mean to the else level so that is why it's a separate statement and will be always um, run so that's uh, the brief introduction about the indentation and how Python uses indent indentation to recognize the block of codes in, um, in in the Python now the other thing is basically I want to talk about the scope so for example if I define a variable x in the if block and assign a value to it say 100 right and then come here at the end and just type in say um, I'll just type in that uh, value here so I'll just say print x so we need to define the variable here as well so I'll say x is equal to 200 in the else block and now if you run this piece of code again and enter any value say Sunday you'll see that it printed um, this print first print statement get back to work then the length of that particular string which is Sunday and then 
in the else block and then the last two statements not in the else block as well as the value of the x which was defined in the else block right so the key thing to remember here is that even though we have defined these variables uh, assigned the values to these x um, uh, two variables here in if and else block um, but the scope is not limited to these blocks so you can utilize these uh, these variables uh, in the later part of the code so that's um, that's pretty much about the indentation and scope the other thing uh, in python programming key uh, important thing is about the commenting how you will comment the code in python so python uh, supports the single line comments it doesn't support multi-line comments and there are multiple ways which you can utilize to do multi-line comments so if you just um, type hash uh, any line which has hash in the starting is a comment in python if you want to add multi-line comments you just keep adding more hash uh, and then just this is just add this is multi line comment right um, the shortcut for adding comments is in Mac you can use command forward slash and in Windows you can use control shift shift control forward slash now the other good shortcuts are if you want to comment a uh, lot of lines together you just select all and then press command uh, forward slash in Mac and shift control forward slash in Windows and it will comment all those lines to uncomment just press again select all those lines and uh, press command forward slash to uncomment now that's pretty much about the comments if you want to use multi-line comments some um, places you can utilize um, the multi-line comments by um, three colons and then typing in the comment in between um, however you have to be pretty uh, confident where you are using these multi-line comments because um, below the functions they can be evaluated a bit differently so the best recommended way to add multi-line comments or single line comments is to use uh, use hash so that's pretty much all for this tutorial. Thank you.